Hi, this is Eve again on Bronco Day Online. Uh, today we have Doug Hagemeyer. Hi, Doug. Hey, how are you doing, Yvette? Good. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? About myself? Well, um, well, I worked for about 30 years in industry and then decided to take a little break from that. And then I decided to go back to work after my wife spent all of our money. Can you believe that? Anyway, <laughs> uh, we, we both spent money and then after a few years decided to uh, re-engage in the workforce. And so uh, I was fortunate enough to land a, uh, a teaching position here, a lecturer position. So I've been here almost 10 years now. So actually, this is uh, this is home it has been i've been here longer than i work for any other employer and i work for some pretty cool employers but this has been one of my coolest employers so I'm that's really awesome here, so. that's great and, and you know uh, just an ongoing joke before i go into the question uh we've actually renamed dynamics to doug namics um <laughs> he likes to be Let's modest see. but yes <laughs> so hey yeah. can you tell me what you uh, love most about boise and boise state well, uh, I love Boise. Boise is awesome. It's obviously a beautiful town. It's, uh, um, you know, it's small enough to have uh, the friendliness and uh, that many of us really, really enjoy the ease of getting around, although it's getting worse with the traffic as, we, as it grows. But it's big enough to have a bunch of the services that we all like. Uh, we finally have a Trader Joe's. Actually, we have two Trader Joe's now, so that's, uh, that's a big deal. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of culture. We obviously have a lot of outside activities. Uh, I personally enjoy the outdoors a lot. Uh, my wife and I get out and walk every day. Uh, if I'm not walking, I'm uh, riding my bike. I rode my bike almost Almost every day this winter, except for the days that it was snowing, uh, you know, I got out, you know, as long as it's above 32, I can bundle up and ride my bicycle. So uh, <laughs> that's one of the things I really enjoy to do. Uh, but anyway, outside activities, uh, friendly people. Uh, we've got some family here, so uh, still got family spread out all over the place. But, uh, but anyway, so it's a, it's a wonderful place to be. It's a great place. For a young person, I think it's a wonderful place to raise a family and and uh, be a you know be a parent and raise kids. Uh, I mean, I did that, so we we got four kids, and unfortunately, we didn't talk them into staying in Boise. That's the bad thing, is they uh, they spread out all over the world. So, well, all over the U.S. So most of our vacation time is spent uh, going to see the kids and the grandkids elsewhere. But anyway, love Boise. Boise State itself is a great university. Again, it's an up-and-coming uh, technical university or engineering college anyway. We, uh, the research is going crazy through the roof. We've got an extremely talented group of faculty. Uh, lots of research going on. Um, and the undergraduate program is where I'm mo mostly focused on, uh, is really getting good. I mean, I think we are as good as many. Well, we're definitely as good as, uh, well, you know what? I don't, I better not st state statistics because I don't know all the facts around the statistics. But anyway, we have a great faculty, especially in mechanical engineering, very dedicated, very focused, uh, smart. Um, and uh, we have lots of, uh, uh, lots of really fun courses. I think dynamics is one of the more, more entertaining courses. Obviously, I teach that a lot, but uh, I teach other courses too. But uh, anyway, mechanical engineering has a great staff, great people. Uh, awesome students, awesome students. The students are uh, some of the best uh, around. We get talented students. Uh, even though we're kind of a state university, we get, uh, we get some extremely talented people here. And uh, so it's a great place to live and work. It's a great place to be a student. Uh, the student research uh, that we have going, or, I mean, the research that involves undergraduate students is kind of one of the things that sets up, uh, us apart. Um, you know, again, our faculty have lots of research programs, but uh, the, uh, we mostly, or they mostly employ under undergraduate students to, to help work in those labs. So that's a huge opportunity for undergraduate students. So That's great. And yeah. so um, I know that you touched a little bit about your 30 years of industry experience and now coming to Boise State. You know, with everything that you've learned throughout the years, what advice would you go back and give your younger self if you were having to go look for a university again and and go through this all over again. What advice wow. would you give yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Being a freshman again. That, uh, 
Yeah. Well, you know, freshmen, uh, I, I had four kids. Uh, they were all freshmen once. Um, I was a freshman once. You know, I guess uh, um, as much as anything, um, and I, and I, you know, again, I've been 18. I know, I know what it means to be a freshman and I wasn't very focused quite honestly when I was, uh, when I was a freshman, it took me a couple of years to, to get focused. Um, and so I know that that happens, but as much as possible, don't waste those 18 to 19, you know, or that those years being a 19, 20 year old, uh, because uh, it's it's uh, sometimes it's hard to recover from that. So anyway, come into college with a good expectation that it is going to be some work. That it isn't just all fun and games. It is, it's college now. And uh, especially coming from high, if you're coming straight from high school or students are coming straight from high school, sometimes they they think it's just uh, the fifth year of high school. Well, it's for engineering students, it's not. Uh, you have to kind of get down to seriousness pretty uh, pretty quickly. Fortunately. We have tons of resources to help you do that or help the students do that. You know, we have, um, you know, lots of help, lots of tutoring help. Uh, the, the instructors are very, very much interested in helping students uh, be successful. So, um, again, especially at the freshman and sophomore levels, which is where I teach most of my courses, we, we go, we bend over backwards to help the struggling students as well as the ones that may not be quite as motivated as, uh, as, we instructors would like them to be. But at any rate, that's one piece of advice. But the second piece of advice is to uh, come with an open mind. Um, you know, you're going to learn new things. You're going to learn uh, new processes and methods. Sometimes it's going to be the way the instructor wants, and sometimes we'll give you lots of freedom. But, uh, but overall, come with an open mind. Come be prepared to work, uh, but also come prepared to have some fun, because uh, this is a really, really fun place. Uh, it, although, again, I'd like to suggest, thinking back to my freshman experience, I would put more <laughs> balance on the, uh, on the try to be successful than try to have a lot of fun. Because if you try to have too much fun, then it's a little harder to, to recover. But anyway, that's my advice. That's the advice I gave to my kids when they were freshmen, is that, yes, you're going to college. Uh, what you're going to college for is to learn, especially if you're in engineering, you're, you're learning a you're learning some new skills that will help you get a job. And if you don't learn those skills well, um, <clears throat> you know, you didn't accomplish most of what you went to college for. So college is for uh, training and it's for helping you uh, learn some skills that will be of benefit to you in the, when you graduate. So anyway, that's, that's my advice. Be focused, Thank be you. serious, be, uh, be, uh, uh, be yourself. Uh, be open-minded and, uh, and, and the fun will happen. The fun will happen as well. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. I appreciate the info. And uh, with that, I will just want to say go Broncos. All right. Go Broncos indeed. I hope that we're all over this virus thing before, uh, <laughs> before that happens. We're all hunkered down here at home. So. Sounds all right, great. Thanks, Doug. All right.